Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists at Heidelberg University and the European Molecular Biology Laboratory have constructed a three-dimensional model of a bacterium and used it to resolve an important biological question. The question was, are some bacteria, which are classified as prokaryotes, meaning they lack a nucleus as part of their cellular structure, actually eukaryotes? Using an electron microscope to study its structure in thin slices, the research team was able to construct a 3D computer model of Gamata obscura globus, a bacterium that was suspected of having its genetic material enclosed in a nucleus. The model showed, however, that G. obscura globus doesn't have a nucleus, although its membrane structure is unusually complex for a bacterium. The question of whether or not some bacteria could be classified as eukaryotes is a significant one, and this story demonstrates how advances in microscopy and computer technology can be used to answer such important questions in innovative ways. Up next, researchers at the University of Tokyo have achieved more reliable quantum teleportation using a new hybrid technique. Quantum teleportation is the transfer of a particular quantum state from one photon to another photon some distance away. It's not teleportation like we see in science fiction, where objects or people are instantaneously beamed from one location to another. Rather, it has to do with the transfer of information and is important to the emerging technologies of quantum computing and quantum communications. The new technique developed by the University of Tokyo team uses quantum entanglement. I don't pretend to even faintly understand how it works, but I do know that it's more efficient than methods previously tried, teleporting quantum bits or qubits with an accuracy of around 80%. Finally, astronomers have discovered a magnetar, that is, a pulsar with an extremely strong magnetic field near the center of our galaxy. This magnetar was discovered by astronomers at the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy. Its magnetic field is approximately 100 trillion times stronger than that of Earth. Researchers hope that by studying it, they will be able to learn more about the mysterious object at the center of our galaxy, the massive radio source known as Sagittarius A star. It's widely assumed that Sagittarius A star is an enormous black hole. Measuring the properties of this newly discovered magnetar can tell us more about conditions surrounding that black hole, lifting the veil over the turbulent and enigmatic region of space at the center of our galaxy. Researchers create a 3D computer model of a bacterium. Scientists develop the most reliable technique yet for quantum teleportation, and astronomers discover a supermagnetic pulsar orbiting the colossal black hole at the center of our galaxy. And that's the good news. And just like that, you're all done. Yeah, what do you think?